Hi, this is John Johnson from Secrets of Home Theater in High Fidelity with a review of a new vinyl release called Jazz Impressions of Black Orpheus. Vince Guaraldi was a classical jazz pianist who recorded this Grammy Award winning album in 1962. It consisted of Guaraldi on piano, Monty Budwig on bass, and Colin Bailey on drums. It was a breakout album for him and Kraft Recordings has re-released the album on 33 and a third RPM vinyl using a one-step process for pressing the LPs. This means that the lacquer cutting on an aluminum disc was removed and coated with silver and nickel and then that silver nickel, which was a negative of the lacquer and called a father, was used as the stamper to press the vinyl instead of the more typical procedure of using that silver nickel, nickel negative father to make several nickel positives called mothers followed by a large number of negatives which were used as the stampers. Using the father to make mothers and then mothers to make stampers creates artifacts that are unavoidable including surface noise. By using the father as a stamper most of these artifacts are eliminated. The downside of using the father as a stamper is that a much smaller number of LPs can be stamped because the stamper wears out after a few thousand copies. In the case of Kraft Recordings small batch releases like this one, only 3,000 copies are pressed. This means that the price of each LP has to be higher than if 30,000 copies were pressed from multiple stampers. The Black Orpheus album sells for $109.99, $110, which is certainly not cheap, but also keep in mind that the album is analog from the original tape masters to LP pressing. Unlike most re-released LPs and LPs cut from modern recordings, there is a digital version of the recording in the manufacturing chain. So for LP aficionados, it is worth the price to have an LP that is just as it was back in 1962, analog all the way. The LP comes with several additional features. It is contained within a black protective case. You pull the yellow ribbon out to get to the contents, which consist of the LP and a printed description in great detail of the album and its three musicians. As I mentioned, Vince Guaraldi on piano, Monty Budwig on bass, and Colin Bailey on drums. There are eight tracks, four on each side. My favorite is track three on side two, Almaville. The album has a bossa nova feel to it, and it is classical jazz indeed. One of the tracks, Cast Your Fate to the Wind, won a Grammy for Best Jazz Original Jazz Composition in 1963. Another favorite on the album is Moon River, and in my opinion, it is one of the finest jazz rendition of such a beloved song. There is some noticeable distortion when the piano is loud, probably due to tape oversaturation when the recording was made. The distortion is not there when the piano playing is softer, but that is something that has to be accepted in recordings that were made more than half a century ago. This album is a collectible one for us vinyl lovers. It's expensive, but our audiophile hobby is expensive for everything involved. Here are the links to a previous review of another craft recording small batch uh, recordings that I reviewed, Relaxin' with the Miles Davis Quintet. The Craft Recordings website is at craftrecordings.com. Thanks for watching.